I've always thought of poker as one of the most profound examples of people's capacity or profound um, training grounds for abstract thinking. And the reason why why poker, you know, most people think is such a linear game, but in reality, at higher levels, it's way more abstract in the sense that you have so many different variables at play that you need to weigh in order to make an actually informed decision, right, a profitable decision. Now, uh, one of the things that I would do is when I was coaching, and still now I do to players, I ask them my poker riddles. And I basically have these riddles that allow me to see, they're like kind of like projective assessments for poker players to see how they think around certain conditions and certain variables at the table, right? And some people will be very fixed and they don't know how to answer the question and other people will get even more abstract. It's really cool. It's a projective measures in, in psychology are basically we project ourselves or we project part of our personality onto a neutral stimulus. So like the Rorschach test where they just show the ink blots, that's a projective test. The Rorschach don't mean anything, but we project our thoughts, feelings, views onto the actual item. So I basically like to ask these, you know, riddles to see where players are at. And I'm gonna ask you guys one. So the first riddle is this. Let's say I'm a wizard and I, you know, all of a sudden, two days before the WSOP main event, I appear in your hotel room. And I say to you, my name is Blake, I am a wizard. I'm gonna give you this gift. I'm gonna give you a buy-in to the WSOP main event and I'm going to give you the ability to see what every single one of your opponents has. You're not gonna be able to see what the flop or turn or river is before all you'll know is what every single opponent around you actually has at all times. And you'll know what you have, uh, of course, as well. How, if I gave you this power and I pushed you into the WSOP main event, how would you play poker? How would the game be different? if you had the ability to see what everyone has. It, you think it's a simple scenario, but it's not. It's, there's, it's multifaceted to how you would approach it. So d below, describe how you would approach that and try not to cheat and look at everybody else's um, answers. Because I want to see how you answer them and how you answer them, I'll, I'll review the answers because it's really, really interesting. And there is an actual correct answer. I'll, I'll comment below whoever does the uh, most correct answer. Okay, so. Let's try this poker riddle thing. I, I think it could be fun. I have, I have tons of them, actually. I should probably make like a, a blog post or an email somewhere that, and really label all of them. Um, it's just, it's cool and it's fun. It's, it's similar to chess, if anybody's, any of you ever played chess. Like there's these chess riddles or chess little games where they kind of rearrange pieces and you gotta figure out what to do. It, it's very similar to that, but it's just a test and abstract thought. Let me know below, uh, schoolcars.com slash sign up.